Hi, this is Karen O'Brien, and I would like to show you how to use the latest Flow2D installer. So let's just start by taking some notes here. So first of all, you have to have admin rights to run this installer. This installer will give you build 23.10.25. That's the build 23 engine. It's going to put files in program files x86 and in the public document folder. Um, this installation does not have the GDS, so if you want to get the GDS, you'll have I'll show you how to get that in just a second. So let's discuss who this installer is for. This installer and this installation video is for standalone installers. So if you're a private consultant or you don't belong to a big company or you can do your own installations, then you need this installer. If you want to build a system image, then you're going to want a different installer. Okay, if you want, let me grab this. Hang on, I'm in the wrong folder. I was in my test folder. If you are a admin and you're building a system image, then you want to go into Flow2D Pro Update. Just log into share file, Flow2D Pro Update. You go to Installer, Build 23 and you'll see that all of your instructions and files are in here. I'm not going to cover that in this video. I also removed a GDS from this. I shouldn't I shut that down a little bit too soon. One second. I also removed GDS from this installer. So if you want to install GDS, same thing. You're going to go into um, Flow2D Pro update folder, processor programs, mapper GDS, and get GDS. We recommend that you no longer use GDS and Mapper because they are visual basic programs and they're getting old. Not only are they getting more difficult to install on Windows systems, but they're also becoming somewhat of a security risk because they're visual basic. So that's why we recommend that you stop using them. Start using QGIS, the Flow2D plugin, QGIS with Mapcrafter, QGIS with Rasterizer, QGIS with the Flow2D plugin, and use that to, to manage and, and create your data files. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this installation. So we'll start by just running this setup executable and it's going to put Flow2D Pro and, and EPA Swim onto the program files x86 and it's going to put the documentation in the documents folder. You'll need everything for a clean, fresh install. You'll need everything. If you're already using an older version of, Q, of uh, Flow2D, you can uncheck these two. Actually, that's not exactly true. I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so this is a fresh install. You never had Flow2D on your computer before. It's going to run the swim setup first, as you can see here. And it's going to run the Flow2D setup, which is basically just copying Flow2D onto your computer. That's all it's doing and then finally it will be running the documentation installer. Once the documentation is installed, it will run the two Visual Studio redistributable packages. Those are version 13 and version 2019. I think it's like, I think that newest version of Visual Studio is like 2015 through 2020 or something. Okay, so here we go. You see this 2013, 2019, and it's going to install these quietly so you won't be able to see them. And I think the default for quiet is just to install them, and if they're already installed, to skip them. I don't think it fixes it. It doesn't try to fix anything. So if you already have it, it won't do anything to it. So it'll run the 2019 redistributable installer and the 2013, and it, the 2013 is flagged with a do not restart. Uh, code, but it might restart anyway. And then we click finish and you can see now that you have Flow2D Pro on your computer. I'm going to open this real quick because the next thing that you'll want to do is a quick test. So I'll click open a new window. And then over here I want to go over this folder real quick. So you get your, oh excuse me, these are executables. All from here to here. And these executables are um, they're called by QGIS. So you don't just come in here and double click these. If you do, you'll get an error because there's no data files in this folder. So if I try to run the Flow2D engine and there's no data files that it can see, it'll give me an error. 
it's initializing so the error won't come up probably for a while or maybe it'll just not run I don't know it should give an error anyway so yeah see it's gonna tell you something like there's no data files in here and I'm on an Amazon web services computer so everything is a little bit slow so it just told you there's no data files in here please run it from a project folder and that's what we'll show you how to do so if you want to run from a project folder in order for us to do the test I don't want to install QGIS on this uh, machine but I still want to test to see that the engine was installed correctly so I'm going to control A to select all of these and control C will copy them and then I want to come here to the documentation because there's some example projects in here and example projects and we've if we use the barn project it's super fast so we'll copy these in here and then as soon as they're done pasting in there just double click flowpro.exe and this is the basic version because I haven't run the activator yet so if you are running the basic version that means you haven't run the activator yet if you are running the pro version that means you've run the activator see here right here it says basic model so anything less than uh, 100 foot grid element size that's 100 foot 30 meters and anything less than 50,000 can be run with the basic model and the pro model eliminates that limit and you get tech support so this will run for a few more seconds and then it'll shut down because the simulation will be complete and then we can just close it so that's the test now the next steps for you will be to install QGIS, install the activator, and install the, the all the plugins. And the plugins are, let's go ahead and get back here in our documentation folder. The plugins are uh, the version 115 of the Flow2D plugin. Mapcrafter is the first version, and then Rasterizer is on version three. These two are already on QGIS. This one you have to install from zip. Again, different video, but they're here if you want to get them. Rainfall distributions are also in here. These are just rainfall patterns. They're just text files, very simple. Uh, let's open this one up. So you can see on the left is rainfall uh, time, and on the right is percent cumulative. So if you want to set up a uniform rainfall, you would use a rainfall pattern. Now remember with Flow2D that rainfall patterns are zero to one percent accumulation okay not zero to a hundred it's like a factor okay so it's zero to one not zero to a hundred a lot of people make that mistake uh, also in here we have the tailings dam tool examples so if you want to use the tailings dam tool you have some nice examples here and also if you want to use the tailings dam tool this tailings dam tool is the most up-to-date tailings dam tool as you can see it has a date a file date of 10-2-2023 so that's October 2nd 2023 I'm gonna go back on that one because I want this to stay here and in addition to that you get the manuals okay so handouts are white papers the important handouts are the flow 2d pro model revisions and the uh, license and this optimization paper is also an important handout the reviewers checklist is also in here that's an Excel file and that's a great tool to use to help you you know determine whether or not your run is running correctly it's got all kinds of instructions and ideas in it to check for things to check I'm waiting for this revisions list to open on this um, on this window right here okay all right so let's get back up here to the top of this uh, control home maybe Oh, this is such a slow computer I apologize for that okay so you can see here that these are the revisions list for build 23-10-25 and so if you do a search for this little uh, group of digits right here if you control F and do a search for that it'll take you right down to the revisions that were done for this build important visions are related to the storm drain uh, storm drain analysis another important revision was let's see important revisions to the storm drain for build 21 important revisions to um, tailings dam we're now allowing stack failure and Jim fixed a bunch of issues related to like the levee failure and a few other things a few other things related to um, to this build 
So please review those revisions, especially if you're going to be doing urban storm drain modeling. And speaking of specific kinds of modeling, we now have the data input manual, sorry, the manuals. So the data input manual is the most important manual. We've already updated it for 2023. You also have the plugin technical reference manual, which defines how we do calculations with the plugin to do some of the data processing that we do. Channel guidelines are all updated. They have all new images and figures and a new uh, set, a new explanation on how to do a channel review, how to review channel data. Same thing with the storm drain manual. This is, sorry, by the time you get this, yours will say build 23. I just haven't gotten that manual from Noemi yet. She should be giving it to me this weekend. And the flow 2D two phase guidelines if you're going to be doing um, tailings dam studies. And those tailings dam studies have hydrology or rainfall or, or uh, there's water on top of your dam, then you're gonna wanna use the two phase um, model instead of just the mud flow model. So that's it for the documentation. Now let's talk a little bit about what happens when you try to install flow duty but you already have it installed. Okay, so if you run this again, if you run this and you're already using flow duty, this is what's going to happen. Let's let it uh, set up and initialize here for a second. It actually wasn't taking this long before, but that's okay. We'll sort it. It'll sort itself out here in a second. I might just knock this off and go straight and do this over on my laptop and not mess with this anymore. I've been on this computer all, I'm, I'm been on this virtual computer all day and it's been working pretty good, but certainly has slowed down lately. Okay, Flow2D is ready to, in, I'm sorry, excuse me, Flow2D is already installed. Click yes to remove the old version and install this version. Click no to abort. So if you click no, it just cancels it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, thank goodness it didn't go that, it didn't take that long. Okay, and then we're going to click yes this time now. Watch what it does. It's going to it's not going to touch e it's not going to touch the EPA swim installation. It's not going to touch the Visual Studio installation. It's just going to uninstall Flow2D. Okay, so it's going to delete everything in this folder and it's going to um, rename this one to old. Now, this might not work perfectly on everyone's computer. So if you already have Flow2D running on your computer, you might want to do this first. You know, rename this to old or rename this to 2021 or whatever build you're using. And then now you see this is empty, so we click next and it's just going to run straight through the installer again. So we don't need that, we don't need that, and install. And then of course if you want, you know, you can put this, name this to whatever that old build is if you want. Like say for example, I mean we know that was build 21, but just in case, or we know that was build 23, but if this was build 21, you can just do this, build 21. It won't hurt anything. You might want to spell build correctly though. And then you click finish and you see that it's here. Okay. So that's the, let's see, admin rights. Okay. You need admin rights to run this installer. Who needs it? This installer is, de is designed for people who have own control of their computer, small companies. They're not building a system image. They just want to install the software. This is build 23.10.25. Check the revisions list once you get it installed. We did not use the GDS with this installer. Okay, so we've removed GDS and Mapper. And this will install the basic model, so if you run it, you'll need to activate it if you run this installer. All right, well, thank you for watching the video and good luck with your installation.